Hey everyone, my name is Sienna Boyd. We are back in the Choose Health Kitchen with Dr. Ching. Today, what we wanted to talk about was anti-inflammatory foods. back in the Choose Health Kitchen with Dr. Ching. Yes, good morning everybody. <laughs> it's so good to see you guys again. Yes, I know, we're so excited to be here. Anytime we can get Dr. Ching in the kitchen to cook with us is a good day. So last time we had Dr. Ching in the kitchen with us, he shared with us a little bit of his Cantonese heritage, some eggs, tomato dishes, mm -hmm. green beans that were very popular. Um, today, what we wanted to talk about was anti-inflammatory foods. Mm -hmm. um, I think seniors in general, and you can you know, um, talk a little bit more about that, really just need to be on top of anti-inflammatory lifestyles, right? Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Oh, goodness. So the way that we can do that, there's a whole myriad of ways, but one of the main ways is through our diet. So today, we wanted to talk a little bit about some anti-inflammatory foods, specifically with breakfast. I will be teaching Dr. Ching how to make one of my favorite breakfasts. It's an anti-inflammatory omelet filled with tons of antioxidants, yummy vegetables. So let's go through the ingredients. Dr. Sure, Ching, tell us... It. Tell us why we're using these ingredients. Absolutely. Well, first off, when we have a look at our ingredients today, I see a rainbow of colors, which is great. Yes. We want to try to target all the kind of colors in the, you know, from fresh fruits mm. to um, fresh uh, vegetables. Okay. Yes. So starting from right here, I see that we have some uh, spinach, um, which is a uh, leafy green, similar to yes. kale, broccoli, highly packed with the uh, anti-inflammatory properties. I prefer in my omelets, I prefer spinach just because it's, it adds a really nice richness and a good color and spinach cooks up really well. But if you have any other green leafy greens, like, um, like you said, kale or broccoli, you can use that in my omelet as well. Absolutely. And moving next here, we have some eggs, essential component of omelets and uh, <laughs> has a high amount of uh, vitamin D actually. And uh, oh, nice. Typical foods are very rare and, um, you know, vitamin D, so. Is it um, a good majority of Americans, aren't we all pretty vitamin D deficient? Yes, it is. that's very true. Okay. So uh, trying to incorporate as much uh, vitamin D rich foods into your diet is very essential. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, what, what are these? These were? These were bell peppers. These were the bell peppers. Yeah, bell yeah. peppers, um, diced bell peppers, highly packed with uh, vitamin C actually, so very good. Fun fact, bell peppers have more vitamin C than oranges. So instead of grabbing an orange for your vitamin C, grab a bell pepper. Sweet. And then we're finishing off on the side with some berries, which have uh, tons of antioxidants packed into it. Nice. And uh, from raspberries, blueberries to strawberries, very good choice of uh, berries here. Wonderful. Um, I know one of the star ingredients that we will be working with today is turmeric, which is a hot button item for anti-inflammatory foods. Can you tell us a little bit about why one would want to include turmeric in their day-to-day -day cooking. Absolutely, yeah. Turmeric is one of those um, uh, ingredients that is highly packed with uh, anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, and similar to other kind of spices such as ginger and even rosemary as a herb. So I highly encourage uh, you folks to uh, give it a try because uh, uh, turmeric can uh, help with like um, anti-inflammatory kind of um, uh, pains that you develop mm. in your joints or arthritis. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you mentioned plaque buildup as well. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, I know turmeric comes in a variety of different ways. You can include it in cooking like we will today in a powder form. There are turmeric pills that you can take from any of your local grocery stores. Just go to the supplement aisle. There's turmeric supplements. Mm -hmm. And then it also comes in a tuber that looks very much like ginger. You can always grate fresh turmeric into your food as well. So mm -hmm. let's whip up the omelet. Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, so it's time to assemble our omelet. So let's go ahead and first let's saute our onions in the pan. You can go ahead and okay. take those, put them in the pan. All right, so onions are in. And then next up, we're gonna go ahead and add the red bell peppers. You wanna add these two ingredients before you put in anything else because it does take a little time to soften and get a little bit more caramelized and let those natural sugars come out in the ingredients. Okay. All right, we've got the bell peppers in now. Bell peppers in, go ahead and stir it up, and then we'll wait about a minute for it to just really get nice and caramelized and softened until we start to add the rest of the ingredients. In the meantime, you can go ahead and start cracking some eggs. For this specific recipe, we'll use about four to five eggs. All right, 
right, go ahead right. and put it in the pan, All just right. like that, dump it right in. in huh? mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Awesome, and the heat that we're using right now is about um, medium low right now, so I'm gonna actually turn it up while we are cooking the eggs. Okay. Perfect. And then go ahead and mix it up. This is more of a right. scramble than I would say a traditional omelet where you would fold it in half. Um, I like to eat it that way. It's a little bit more palatable and you get um, each of these vegetables in every bite. Mm. Um, so you can go ahead and mix that up. Okay, I'm excited for that. I usually have the more traditional mm -hmm. uh, fold and uh, mm -hmm. omelet, so I'm excited for this. So after you mix that up a little bit, we're gonna add the spinach. Okay. As we know, you can put a whole entire bag of spinach in the pan and it turns out to be just, See, this just little... a little small <laughs> handful, yeah. Exactly, so be very liberal with your spinach or any greens that you do decide to use. All right, good tip. All right, Dr. Chang, go ahead, put in the spinach. I would say right. put the entire bowl in there. Put the entire bowl? All right, let's do that. You added the spinach, wonderful. Go ahead and mix it. it all up. And then we're gonna add our star ingredient of this dish, okay. our turmeric. Okay. So go ahead, this is turmeric. Like I said, you can get it in any store, pretty much any Vaughn, Stater Brothers, your corner grocery store. They have it in the spice section. So if you are cooking with turmeric, go ahead and find it. It's gonna look just like this. It's very, very orange and it'll pretty much make anything that you cook orange as well. So. Add as much as you want in there. I use, I like to use maybe about a teaspoon to two teaspoons about of About a teaspoon to two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. All right, sprinkle that Perfect. in there. Perfect. All right, that's about it. And then we'll also add some salt as well, about one teaspoon of salt. Depending on hypertension and how much salt your salt intake is will determine how much you'd put, but I put about a teaspoon of salt in mine. Teaspoon of salt, okay. This is about a teaspoon of salt. Yeah. So turmeric and salt are in now. Okay. Perfect, and then it's just a matter of waiting until the spinach is wilted and all the ingredients are combined and then we're all set to eat. Great, it smells great by the oh, way. Thank you, I'm so excited. You taught me how to make your egg dish, uh -huh. now I'm teaching you how to make mine. Yes, <laughs> I can't wait to try it. All right, that looks great, that looks yeah. perfect. So it's time to put it on the plate and let's enjoy. All right, let's do it. Yes, and we added some side of avocado as well. Yes, healthy fats, keeps yeah. you full longer. Mm -hmm, absolutely, this smells so good right oh, now. I'm so glad. I can't wait to eat it. Well, let's go eat right now. You ready? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Dr. Ching, thank you so much for being with us in the kitchen. Thank you so much for teaching me this uh, recipe of yours. Yes. And uh, I can't wait to have it. 